If you're looking for the cheapest and most reliable Madden 22 coins on the market, check out my sponsor, MMOEXPR.com. Links are in the description, and use code JEDI at checkout for 5% off. Alrighty, hey there guys, Adrian Acosta here, aka JediBro95, coming at you guys with another video. And in this video, guys, is going to be talking about the content that came out over the last couple of days, as, pardon me, as well as um, the um, Team Diamonds uh, coming out next week. Um, as well also as house rules and my issues with those. Uh, but anyways, so the, um, Rising Stars came out yesterday. And so we have Jalen Waddle here, uh, powered up this. So I'm not going to go over the stats because they've actually been out, uh, for the couple of days and I don't want this video to be too long. Um, so Jalen Waddle, here are his stats. Looks pretty good. Uh, shout out to Metality for the screenshots. Then we have Patrick Sertain. Uh, again, all great stuff. Um, Travis Etienne, uh, let me just move this over a little bit. There we go. So Travis Etienne looks pretty great. Saw some people actually being a little upset that, hang on a second here. <coughs> Ooh. Pardon me. Um, so a lot of people were upset about the fact that he got a rising star card because even though he's injured now, which I just got to say, you're fucking like, that's just fucking sad that you actually are upset that he got a card, even though he's injured because one Nobody counts for players to be injured. That's not what the issue is. And two, I'm pretty sure this card was made before last week when he did get hurt. So, and three, fuck you, maybe. Just a damn thought. Fuck you. <laughs> Anyhow, moving on. Divine Diablo was the next car over the Rising Star. Looks pretty good. Um, no issues with that. I think he does get Enforcer as well i think that he's the first enforcer free safety in the game that isn't uh the chancellor so uh he's pretty good and then we have zach wilson and i want to spend a little bit of time talking about this card because this card right now uh this card is going to kill madden 22 for, for the next couple of weeks because and I'm, I'm not gonna say permanently i i did say permanently a couple of days ago uh yesterday when i watched mike max video uh i was like this game is officially done now um you know, maybe it was a bit of an overreaction, but the fact that we already have a gunslinger quarterback in fucking September, ugh, it's just ridiculous. And part of me has to believe now that there is going to be over 100 stats because we're already hitting mid-90s thresholds for um, cards. You know, part of me has to think that we're getting over 100 stats, and I hope to God we are because it wouldn't make sense to justify the stats that we have now. So, who knows? But I do hope that we do get over 100 stats sometime this year. Uh, then we move on to the LTDs. First, we have Stefan Diggs for the offensive one. Now, Stefan Diggs, honestly, I like this Stefan Diggs. A lot of people are not really a fan of this, or a lot of people are just like up in arms of like, uh, I don't, or like just talking about, I don't know. I like this one because he does have good speed, he does have good route running. But the one thing that does make this card really good is he does get route tech in tier one. And he also can get slot and outside apprentice, if I remember correctly. So you can basically get wide receiver apprentice and route tech on the, on the card for 4 AP, which is pretty good. You know, 4 AP for a ability that allows you to hot route anywhere and gets you one of the best receiving abilities in, in the game with route technician. I like it. I really do like it. I like this card. I think he's very good. Um, he's, I don't think he's better than Jerry Rice though. And I'm not being biased. I just don't think he's better than Jerry, uh, because Jerry is a little taller and he is a little bit faster. Uh, and even though, even though, uh, yeah, uh, Stefan has the better route running, but Hey, we'll see about that. Uh, and then today the LTD for the defensive side was Marcus Peters. Now, Marcus Peters, he really is not that good. He just isn't like, don't get me wrong on a, on a Rams um chiefs and raven steam team he actually can be pretty good but on just a normal card i don't think he is that good honestly i just don't think he's that good powered up he has 90 speed which is still which is on the slower side considering that there's a lot of wide receivers now with 91 speed stock um like jerry rice i think jamar chase is still like in the mid 90s uh in the in the low 90s for speed um, you got Jerry Rice, Jamar Chase, uh, Joey Galloway. Uh, like, there's a lot of great receivers out there, and this card just can't keep up with them. He has great stats all the way around. It's just, his, I don't know if he's just that fast. 
Uh, he's just not that fast to keep up. But in terms of, you know, on a theme team, absolutely, he's fantastic. Pick him up. He can be your starting corner. Um, so anyways, let's move on to Team Diamonds. Now, Team Diamonds were confirmed to be coming out next week. Let me just find Fredzilla here because he was the one who uh, put this on as a... Uh, Um, he was the one who put this on his, um, on his Twitter today. Um, where is it? That's the house rules and rewards. All right. So here is the, um, stuff for the K's corner, I guess. Uh, this was originally meant to be a post for Gut Fox for his video, but whatever. I'm going to use it too. So thank you, Fredzilla, for the screenshot. Uh, so for the K's for today, um, they did talk about the campaign epilogue objective for 90 overall requirement. They're looking to change that, which, good, uh, because that was just really stupid that they had it that way. Gridiron Forge challenges servers issue. Apparently, there is a server issue where people are getting disconnected in the Gridiron Forge. Also, there is supposed to be more Gridiron Forges coming out next week, uh, so that is something. Uh, missing solo battles game. I've seen people like the actual CC complain about this one, um, and it is very frustrating. And I think I maybe even experienced it myself where I just get disconnected uh, on, uh, or I just don't get the game to show up and I don't get the points for it, uh, which is on, which is annoying. Uh, team Captain and Ultimate Season Champion exchange sets are looking to be coming out soon. Team one, Team of the Week, Week 1 feedback. Thank God they're going to do something about this because I, I am actually, I am actually a little mad about how bad uh, the Team of the Week was this week. Like, we did all that work and wait while well, we waited that long and we played those two challenges for an end cat 87 overall that quick soul for 20 damn training 20 not 200 not 270 fucking 20 ridiculous ea do better um and then team diamonds are start are targeted to release end of next week and now my theory for this is it could be thursday or sunday uh thursday there isn't much going on other than ltds Friday, uh, Kralo already did say in a stream a couple of weeks ago that don't expect it, they're not going to be coming out on a Friday. Now, he they probably did change it to Friday, but who knows. Uh, Saturday is usually Legend Day, and then Sunday, we really don't have anything going on on Sundays. So there could be a Team Diamonds next Sunday. So that's my theory, is either Thursday or Sunday next week. Now let's talk about the house rules. So house rules are coming back, and it's going to be the um, hold your ground which is basically you start deep in your own end zone and then you move and then you try to get a touchdown or move down as far down the field as you possibly can and then your opponent has a chance to respond and if you, they don't and if they don't match your touchdown or you get it or you get a stop you win blah, blah, blah. so these are the rewards so at five reward wins you get a 76 ultimate kickoff or better 10 wins you get 5k coins 15 you get another 76 uk gold card or better uh, uh 20 wins is 5k coins 25 wins is an ncat 88 ultimate kickoff hero Ugh. and then you got another 76 5k like these rewards are fucking horrible these rewards are absolutely horrible of a rewards like my goodness ea this is first of all why is the upper rewards 76s? These upper rewards here should be 88s. Okay? These should be 88 plus overalls in my opinion. If they're going to make if you're going to make people get to 40 wins and complete all the house rule uh, and get complete all the objectives. This right here should also be auctionable in my opinion. But the biggest problem for me is not the fact that it's ultimate kickoff. It's not the fact that it's these rewards are, you know, pretty low. Like this is fine. This is also fine ish, but then this should be like an 80. This should be like 10k coins. This should be an auctionable ultimate kickoff hero if they're going to keep it the ultimate kickoff. And then this should be, or actually, no, this should be like an 85 overall ultimate kickoff hero, ultimate kickoff player. This should be like 20k coins. This should be 30k coins. And then this should be an auctionable uh, ultimate kickoff player. But that's not my problem. My problem is the fact that it's an ultimate kickoff player. Why is it not a Legends player where you've got players right now that have Legend cards that are in the 90s? Why are we getting 88 overall cards when we have the top cards in the game being 90 overall? That just doesn't make sense. And furthermore, it's a 
fucking NCAT. If this was an NAT, I would have no problem. I would really have not as much issues with it as I do right now. And I probably would be a little bit, not much, more incentivized to play these house rules. But these house rules are straight up dog crap. I'm not going to play these. Why would anybody waste their time to get 40 wins when the best thing they're going to get is at 25 when they get an NCAT Ultimate Kickoff Hero? Like, like these are absolute ter These are terrible rewards, guys. These are so bad of rewards, EA. Like, my God. It's insane how bad these rewards really are, man. And that's why I just, I would recommend anybody don't play house rules this weekend. It's not worth your time unless you're a no money spent player. Then I probably would do it then. But I would just say, don't do it. Don't waste your time. It's not worth it. Anyhow. That's going to be the end of this video, guys. Um, hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, be sure to hit the like button if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.